Meg gone mad as Royal confirms Charlotte is now Duchess of Edinburgh, but ignoring Lily title request. The King plans to make Princess Charlotte the Duchess of Edinburgh instead of giving the title to the Earl of Wessex, according to reports. While it was anticipated Edward would inherit the dukedom after his father's death last year, the King has allegedly held back the title for his granddaughter. Insiders claim that giving the senior royal role to Charlotte will be a tribute to his late mother, Queen Elizabeth II, who also had the title. Sources told the Mail on Sunday, discussions are underway, but the favoured outcome for the King is that this title ought to go to Princess Charlotte. It would be a fitting way to remember the Queen, who of course had the title Duchess of Edinburgh, and a way for His Majesty to honour the line of succession. Charlotte is third in line to the throne, after her father, the Prince of Wales, and elder brother, Prince George. The ancient rule of royal primogeniture, which gave men precedence over women in the line of succession, was scrapped under the Succession to the Crown Act in 2013. It meant Charlotte's position was not impacted when a younger brother, Prince Louis, was born in 2018. By contrast, while Princess Anne, the Princess Royal, was the second child of Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth II, her younger brothers, Princes Andrew and Edward, were above her in the order of succession. Charlotte's position will only change if Prince George has children. If granted the title, Charlotte will be the fourth member of the royal family to have been given the position since it was first created in 1726. An insider said, Charlotte's position is historically significant because she's the first female member of the royal family, whose place in the line of succession will not be surpassed by a younger brother. So it's constitutionally significant that Charlotte should be given such a corresponding title, because it's not beyond the realms of possibility that she will accede the throne if, for example, Prince George doesn't have children. It was widely assumed Edward, the third son of the late Queen and Prince Philip, would become the Duke of Edinburgh. He was made Earl of Wessex upon his marriage while his brothers were given dukedoms. In what was seen as a sign he was preparing for the rank, he took over as the chairman of the trustees of the Duke of Edinburgh Awards in 2015, the scheme founded by his father in 1956. But Charles III has been planning a slimmed down monarchy, which sources said is about promoting those directly in line to the throne rather than those on the edges. A source close to Edward said, it had not gone unnoticed that he'd not been granted the title. In other news, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry allegedly left King Charles feeling sad on his 74th birthday, as the royal couple refused the monarch's request for a video call. The new idea, citing a royal source, reported King Charles wanted to go on FaceTime call with Lilibet and Archie on his 74th birthday on November the 14th. However, Meghan and Harry reportedly refused to facilitate the video call. The California-based royal couple allegedly refused to let Archie and Lilibet speak to King Charles because on his birthday the new monarch asked the British Parliament to amend the law to allow two more of his siblings to act on his behalf in his absence. Adding Princess Anne and Prince Edward to the members of councillors of state would allegedly render Prince Harry obsolete. 